All right. Little time out in the action. Get a little college football in the mix. David, please the good music. Yes. You're live at Jordan Air Stadium. This is Brad Nessler times a thousand. Come on. There's a timeout on the field. We'll take it with him. Shout out Ron <laughs> Franklin. All right, let's <laughs> let's go. So this is what I want to do with all the conference realignment stuff here. I found some interesting college football ranking regarding America's premier jobs and what makes them elite. So they go from like 15 to 1 or whatever like that. Okay. Have a discussion on where you think they're, they still are. Let's go with number 15, Auburn Tigers. I'm going to let Rico go first, and I want to see if we are even similar in how we view it. I don't think that Auburn's elite anymore. I think Auburn kind of has fallen by the wayside after Cam Newton. They, they they were good for a second, but now they've gone the way of just the also-ran in the state of Alabama. I don't think they're elite. I view them as Michigan State with more drama, and here's my issue with Auburn. It's not that Bama's in your state. It's not that Georgia's in your conference. It's your boosters are completely running the program to the point that they openly smeared Brian Harson for the crime of not being an Auburn man and fabricated a potential affair, had a coup in the offseason. That that is just not a place that if I am a respected coach, I want to be a part of. And I know MSU said their share of drama with some of the BOT and the rest, but I'm making a point. Auburn should be a top 10 job, but because of the way it's run and, yes, the presence of Bama, Georgia, you do factor it in. Uh, I, You and I are way more similar than, than I thought. I must apologize. It is 16 teams. The 16th team is being covered by an ad. It is Penn State. Also, James Franklin's decision-making on fourth downs. Pop-up screen. (laughs) Fourth and five. Um, uh, Penn State's a fabulous job. You're the only game in town. It's a brand name. It's a national brand. One of the best home field advantages out there. You got 110,000 people who will show up each and every week and fully support you. And, David, it's rare – I always say you have sellout crowds and then you have sellout crowds like Penn State. They don't sell their tickets to opposing fans. No. They're all Nittany Lion fans except for the sliver of tickets they have to give to the opposing team. The only time I remember Penn State just not being Penn State was in the fallout of one of the nastiest, disgusting yeah. scandals ever. But even Bill O'Brien came in and, and helped clean up and get it back on track. Like Penn State's a power. Next two programs they're going to put together because they were the it programs before faded away and maybe they're premier again. It is Florida State at 14 and Tennessee at 13. Wow. I, do you want to go first? I mean, I, I I can I can get moving here on Florida State for sure if you want. Oh, yeah. Tennessee, I, I think the time has come and gone for Tennessee. I think Tennessee's a good program. I don't think they're elite anymore. They're not great. They'll occasionally win big-time games. But other than that, no. The days of Peyton Manning and T. Martin, long gone. This year will tell me a lot. If Josh Heupel goes back-to-back and they're a a threat, if they can get into a game against Georgia, albeit Georgia probably wins, the Bama game for Tennessee, they need to do it again. Florida Mm -hmm. State, to me, this is the first time since Jimbo. Basically 10 years where I felt like Florida State is a real program. Like, Mike Norvell has built it. Now, my issues with Florida State, it's poverty because you're in the ACC. See, it's where I can love what they're building, but I think the realignment is killing them. They are going to be at a mammoth financial deficit, and FSU does not have money. They are not a wealthy school. They have some problems. So I'm going to say Tennessee is the better one there. Really? I, I, just based on money. Okay. Less, well, they have a ton of money, but, man, it's been like almost 30 years since I, they've been relevant. Well, it's been a minute for Florida State, too. Just no, but at least Florida State's made the college football playoffs. Oh, come on. No, Tennessee has been irrelevant. They were very good last year there. And then Spencer Rattler put 80 on them. Okay. Things happened. Spencer Rattler put 80 on him. Put that on your tombstone. Next two programs. What a t-shirt. 
next two programs I'm going to place together again because next year, I believe they're going to fade in the uh, new conference they'll be in. And the team that is ahead of them or behind them, I would say, in the rankings, Rico says they're dead. 12, Clemson, 11, Oklahoma. Oklahoma is going to go right back to the John Blake, Howard Schnellenberger part two eras. I don't believe in them at all. I don't like Brent Venables. I think the move is going to be very Nebraska-esque for Oklahoma. Uh, I do not think that will be a premier job for much longer. Clemson, I'm not ready yet. I got to see Garrett Riley and what he does, the new OC. It's still a premier program, but again, it gets downgraded. Hashtag poverty. They're in the ACC. Hey, I don't even think it's poverty. They I should think be in the SEC. They get downgraded, David, because I look at what Clemson was, and it was going to be – that model was going to be hard to sustain. They've fallen off. Clemson will be a good team. But I think the, the great team where it was always going to be Clemson and – Clemson was – think about it. The, the, the college football playoffs, you could just pencil in Alabama and you pencil in Clemson and you battle for the other two spots. Um, see who gets beat by those two teams. Hey, by the way, just throwing this out there, I mean, you know, 2018-15-0, and 2019-14-1, and 2020-10-2. and I'm just – he has buried this team every year. Now, I get it. It's not vintage, but can I, can I just get to see them play this year? Sure. This guy is acting like Clemson was good in standard death. No, no, they were good, Mike. When all of a sudden, when the college football playoff turned around, Clemson was the team. Trevor Lawrence was the unicorn that came in there. But I don't see that same Clem- – teams play Clemson now, there's no fear factor. You're thinking, no, but we could beat them. I agree. They did win 11 last year. I but know. as you say, I it know. was the ACC. It's empty calories. Right. Okay. That's all. I just – he hates Clemson, and someday I'll figure out what they did to him. What did Howard's Rock do to you? Nothing. Go ahead, Dave. Next two programs to place them together, I'm going to do number 10, Texas A&M. Dead. And number 9, Notre Dame. The question I have with Texas A&M is if you are a premier program, if it fell to Jimbo Fisher, what big name can you bring in? If you're premier, you can bring him in, right? Okay. Yes and no. I think they have a bottomless pit of money. Their issue is going to be, they still owe them, I think, after this season, something like 70 mil. Mm-hmm. And the SEC, if AM was still in the Big 12, I got to be honest, from a winning standpoint, it's a totally different feel. The SEC, I don't think AM ever, capital letters, AM will never win the SEC, ever. See, I would simply say this, Mike. You said Auburn was more like MSU. MSU is more like AM, where. Texas A&M can't get out of their own way, where just when you think it starts to get rolling, they do something silly yeah, or that. something stupid. It's just like, and they set themselves back. It's not that no one. Texas doesn't have to do it. Texas Tech, you did it to yourself. I agree with Rico. There you go. A&M and State. It's the same thing. So I want to finish up with hillbillies the- who can't get out of their way. <laughs> Finish up with focusing on the top five. So I'll give you outside of the five would be eight, Florida. Oh, and by the way, Notre Dame, that's one where I need to see. How much time are you going to give right. the coach to turn this around? I think Freeman needs this year to really get the pieces in order for 24. And will they give him the time? Go ahead. You said Florida? Eight, Florida. Mm-mm. Seven, Michigan. Okay. Six USC, so they're outside of the top five. I have no issue with any of those. They're all excellent jobs. Florida would be the one I'd quibble with a little bit, to be honest with you. Plus, their fans are maniacs. Who the wants one, to live in Gainesville? The no. one for me, it's USC. What? Once again, USC hasn't really done anything. I'm not going to tolerate this. Yeah, I mean, ever since Reggie Bush and Matt Liner walked out the door? Uh, helmets, the Coliseum, the fight song, song girls. And Lincoln Riley. And you're in the Big Ten. Like, what? you can win that. I can't believe I just said you're in the Big Ten. Okay, but, but <laughs> And you, know you have money. Here's the you thing. have Will Farrell, Here's the thing. Snoop Dogg, Owen Wilson on the sidelines. I've heard this before. Penn State join. You can win. Nebraska join. You can win this. And both of those programs were on the okay. tail. What has USC really done? And then your top five would be Ohio State, LSU, Alabama, Texas, and Georgia. There's no argument. If you wanted to quibble that Texas is a, is not a great job, my right. disagreement with it, what it would be is Auburn-type stuff. If you don't perform, those boosters, 
as aggressive. They are piranhas. But if you perform in the state of Texas, UT Austin, I mean, golly, I, to me, mm. it's been a long time since Vince Young was behind the center. I, you know, the coyotes <laughs> wail along the trail. Deep in the heart of Texas. Come on. And that is your college football <laughs> list.